Hi guys, good morning. Today we have a first year ODCL student from TISS. So all the people, those who are dreaming to get into the TISS for ODCL courses. So today we have the uh, as um, as not exactly aspirant. Inko me TISS niyan bol sakta hu. They are already in the TISS and uh, first year student. So one of the student, uh, Mayuk is our student. Last year, उन्होंने prepare किया था. Mayuk Haldar and uh, we have soif and we have sibasis so three uh, all these three people will be discussing in detail about the odcl part so jitne log odcl ko lekar ke prepare kar rahe ho agar aap manure ke students ho ya manure ke student nahi ho doesn't matter but odcl ko agar aap target kar rahe ho to aaj kafi detail mein information milne wali hai and the placement ko lekar bhi we'll talk about why odcl course what are the importance of odcl course so everything they will be discussing so first of all uh, everyone hello and good morning सिविल इंजीनियर देन डन मास्टर्स इन कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट विद फाइव एंड हाफ इयर्स ऑफ वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कंसल्टिंग and then it was a very natural progress for me to join odi because the new covid scenario and all the change that was going through in the industry so i thought odcl is the best platform for me to give the necessary required jump and understand the business in a holistic way great great so from mumbai only right bhai so i am from siliguri west bengal sir okay okay yes boy yeah hi sir good morning good morning i am so if i was born and brought up in kolkata Uh, i am an electronics and communication engineer but uh, post that i joined the it industry i worked for tcs for four and a half years and uh, as far as why odcl is concerned uh, uh, this four and a half years of work experience introduced me to the nuances of business and business understanding the organization structure and the processes involved in the business so and i and i thought that this would be a very natural progression to pursue masters in organization development change and management and take my career forward yeah so that's about me thank you okay fine sir this is uh, hi sir good morning so my name is shibashish pal chaudhuri and i hail from the city of jai kolkata so i completed my uh, engineering in biomedical engineering in the year 2015 and after that i have uh, worked at tata consultancy services as a quality analyst for the 6 years so oh. as a part of 6 year great great so as a part of my work i was a part of the change uh, management also in the technical side so that actually uh, led to my interest in building up a career in change management and also a sort of uh, organization development and so this odcl actually came as a natural uh, option for selection for me uh, when i got to know about this so that's that is my reason for interest for this course okay okay great great so all the aspirant do who are watching this podcast everyone have a more than 4 year of experience and uh, cbs uh, cbs is have a 6 year of experience tcs say dolo and uh, mayu uh, which industry sir infrastructure consulting okay great so experience is important ideally jo uh, odcl ka selection process hai i think minimum 2 year of work experience is required right so right right we all are more than that okay next question apart from this kaun se aur dusre entrance you you people had appeared Like CAT, CET, ऐसा कुछ लिखा था या सिर्फ टेस्ट के लिए ओनली फोकस किया था सो दैट जितने भी लोग देख रहे हैं उनको ये क्लियरिटी आई कि सिर्फ टेस्ट फोकस करना है कि दूसरे एंट्रेंस पे भी आपने वर्क आउट किया था i can for me it was just only tcnet and obviously odcl was my first choice but uh, like as majority goes uh, like as per their choice they obviously do sit for a lot of exams and tcnet is obviously one of the premier choices among them obviously definitely definitely yes so if yeah so i only took this net and the reason is that i have a very good general knowledge and current affairs knowledge and that comes to me naturally and if you see the exam pattern so 40% weightage is uh, to the general awareness part so uh, this net is the only exam that that, that i took uh, this year and i managed great great may you also only this net i also only this net i was associated with you itself okay okay <laughs> हाँ मयूक का पॉडकास्ट देखना तो वापस जाके यू कैन वॉच दैट पॉडकास्ट विद मयूक आई आई ऑलरेडी टेक डन विद द पॉडकास्ट पर यू कैन वॉच दैट ओके कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 
why odcl course one should opt for so actually uh, ma in odcl given by uh, tata institute of social sciences is the first two year full time residential program in india so basically the one of the most advantageous part of it that is that people studying at uh, taste for ma in odcl need to have two years of work experience because actually uh, you need to understand the organization and the business very well because we need to delve into the or deep into the organization to know about the psyche of the organization and also the people mm. so actually odcl course actually is so well designed it prepares us to face all the uh, dimensions of a different organization so that's why it has an age over the, over the others and that has also like as a working parts for personnel it also like pushes us to take up this course okay 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 so if if we talk about the pedagogy of odcl courses so what are the parameters it, it includes it would include various domains of management for instance in the first semester we had finance and accounting in the this semester in like which is the second semester we have a uh, operations and supply chain management and in the further semesters we will be taught uh, sales and marketing and uh, uh, will be taught about change management organizational behavior organization theory and design that is to say overall that we we are taught about organization also the supporting functions like say finance say economics and say supply chain all those things that support an organization and makes up an organization are, are taught to us so we develop a holistic view of actually how an organization works in along the all the dimensions and also the way our professor teaches us is a much more case study basis and we get to dive deep into each and every topic individually so that gives us a better understanding of how the practical use of the that uh, topics that were actually coming up every day so it much more gives us an intensive nature of the course so much more practical oriented okay great so here comes the next question related to the same how is the odcl course different from regular mba course which offered by the top iims and the other b schools right i would like to take that one so first of all the major difference is that we will be doing four field work so let me cl clarify one thing so when we i, I mean field work it is basically an internship so and uh, when we see that in other b schools the students are looking for life projects uh, they want to go to a organization and work and uh, in in this field for for field works we are tagged to various organizations various uh, agencies uh, so so we do live live projects with them and and for this we do not even have to sit for interviews this is uh, totally organized by our center the center for social and organizational leadership at, at tiss so we do the, the the field field work there and there we can apply our theoretical knowledge so that is one of one major uh, difference and then we have a research uh, dissertation which we have to uh, submit at the end of uh, four, four semesters and uh, another difference is that we do one le leadership as a service uh, pro project and so so this leadership uh, leadership as a service uh, project is basically one project that we have to take up with an ngo okay uh, where okay. we apply our od principles the the od map and we work with them to di diagnose their, their problems okay okay yeah anything yeah. else you want to add just to just you? adding on to sohib what sohib said actually since you know that these houses about more than 50 programs at the masters level so as they already told that our uh, organization development change and leadership actually based out of behavioral theory which also includes subjects like say uh, psychology so since we are starting at this that also gives us an opportunity to mingle with students of other other courses like say if i am working on any particular project and i am coming across a psychological theory then i really do have the my friends who are studying in psychology to call them and just talk about uh, what what is the under theoretical underpinning and what is the like what does the theory actually say so we actually have the luxury to uh, mingle with students from different uh, facets so that gives us a, an age over others actually okay okay yeah yes, shivashish right. is right and we also have the option to select electives from uh, offered by the different schools like if, for for this semester for example i have taken two elective subjects from social entrepreneurship and uh, school of media science so okay. th that is one option that we we, we need to take take two subjects from different offered by different schools okay okay great so far uh, whatever study you people have done in the first year how is the experience 
and uh, same experience you can you know um, you can share this experience so that those who are seeking for uh, odcl courses they can understand so far so uh, offline offline started or it is online only is we are having online classes till now because of the current pandemic scenario so but the, it does not feel like an online class the people like the whole batch is a very cohesive one and there is a very varied people like from varied backgrounds so we get to learn from each other a lot like shibashi is from biomechanical then sohip is from electrical and i am from civil so a lot of people from different backgrounds from engineering non engineering background comes together they share exchange ideas so it's a very interesting way of learning and we a lot of peer to peer learning happens during the whole process of uh, like the class sessions and all working together for assignments then we are also as sohef and shivashi said we go for the internships together like the leadership as a service together so basically we three are together in the same group for leadership as a service so we work together in a very cohesive way and understand how matlab how the things function also and that also gives us the spirit of teamwork and it also helps us understand how organization also we can use this team spirit and teamwork in organizations also so i think it's a very interesting and enriching experience that uh, people who are interested in joining this odcl will get and even the seniors that we have are very friendly and very helpful throughout the journey they have been like guiding us with each and every minute details so i would take this opportunity to say that yes if you are looking to join this odcl you have the decision that you have made is very right right now okay so what i have uh, understood and what i think jo bachche log bhi sochte hain students bhi sochte hain ki if they are going for the mba program so mba in marketing mba in finance you know mba in hr so wo second year ek specialization ho jata hai but odcl mein it is all uh, how it is different i mean isme what i have understood ki isme sab cheeze ek jagah pe aa rahi hai everything you are learning aur second year mein aisa kuch hai ki specialization isme rahega although semester wise uh, syllabus are divided but then to uh, mba mein kaisa hota hai ki marketing mein second year mein you are core into the marketing so likewise in odcl aisa hai any any um, comment on it सर बेसिकली क्या होता है ओडिशियल में हम लोग पूरा बिजनेस का एक होलिस्टिक पार्ट देखते हैं सो फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरी फ्रॉम फाइनेंस से लेके एचआर से लेके ऑपरेशंस तक तो हर सेमेस्टर हम लोगों को बेसिकली जहाँ पे दूसरा एमबीए में एक सेकेंड ईयर में आके स्पेशलाइजेशन होता है हम लोग हर सेमेस्टर एक स्पेशल कोर्स एड हो जाता है सब्जेक्ट जैसे कि हम लोग फर्स्ट ईयर पे एक सब्जेक्ट फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंटिंग था अभी हम लोग ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट पढ़ रहे हैं नेक्स्ट हम लोग ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट के पर्टिकुलर कुछ नीच सब्जेक्ट पढ़ेंगे तो ऐसे क्या होता है हम लोगों को हर सेमेस्टर एक एक न्यू एस्पेक्ट पे हम लोगों को आइडिया मिल जाता है एंड बिकॉज ओडी एज अ सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज हम लोग मतलब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट चेंज और लीडरशिप लेके काम करते हैं सो हम लोग का एक होलिस्टिक सब चीज का व्यू होना बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है सो दैट हम लोग कोई भी डिफरेंट इश्यूज हो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में उसको मतलब केटर कर सके उसको सॉल्व कर सके सो इसीलिए हम लोगों को स्पेशलाइजेशन की जगह वेरी मच एक ब्रॉडर व्यू हम लोग को दिया जाता है ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन no no okay next question how an odcl uh, practitioner is different from an hr manager yeah one of the difference would be uh, hr manager would be rather involved in people processes where uh, od practitioner is more involved in organization dynamics okay that is uh, hr would be more interested in maintaining the compliances where uh, od practitioner would be diagnosing a problem related to the people side of the, of the change or people side intervention more mostly yeah those those would be two points for me and if somebody would want to add it yes uh, like uh, when an od practitioner will be working say internally within an organization or say as an external consultant he or she will be making the organization self sufficient so that it can grow on its own feet and be able to solve the problem in its own future and hr obviously will be a part of this problem but there is that difference that as soif said there is a marked difference between hr and od as a as a profession obviously what we practice so that's the difference okay but having said that i also would love to say that hr and od are also going hand in hand together also so it's a very uh, like as we also know we have hrm program od program so yeah, there are, we have a very good relationship between each and every program so it's a very cordial thing that goes on okay okay so also in terms of the popularity if i talk about mba is more popular than odcl so far isn't it uh, could you please repeat mba is more popular than odcl odcl program test odcl program. mba 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 anything in the marketing finance hr oh, right 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 it is more popular in the market than the odcl tss 
program so when when we go for a post graduation one of the most important thing is that we recruiters or people look for is brand so uh, for example if someone has done uh, mba from uh, tier 2 or tier 3 university so the so so the, the there is one thing like I, not to de de demean anyone so the brand matters and if you're looking at this odcl and we have the brand piece so whether we are doing a ma degree or mba degree that's that doesn't matter to the recruiters or other others so this we are under the umbrella of this so that that is a brand that we we leverage so i would rather have a degree from this a uh, MA degree, Master of Arts degree from this rather than an MBA from the Tier 2, Tier 3 university. And not to demean anybody, that this is just my perspective. Yeah. Okay. And also the fact, this, okay, okay. May you continue? And also, in addition to the fact that uh, we have like this as a starting has been giving MA degree. And before inculcation of MBA, the all degrees were MA. So we are still prevailing with our legacy. So instead of changing into the name into MBA OTCL, we are still following our legacy. So we are very much deep seated into our roots and we follow that. So that is something that I'm very proud of. <laughs> okay. In addition to the same question, degree ko lekar ke, ki yaar mujhe to MBA ki degree mil rahi hai and yahan pe MA ki degree mil rahi hai. To usko leke ek inferiority ya to fir ek uh, uh, confusion market mein hai. So can you clarify it anyone? You have mentioned your point, but for us, it's all clarified. If you look at the ODCL, you can see that MA degree is confused. You can see that it's a clear message. Uh, I think I will, I will be going ahead with this. I think it's just a notion of the human mind that say MBA is a greater degree, as a greater weightage than an MA. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't work. What works is what you have learned. And definitely, exactly. we, now have, we now have joined TIS and have been a part of a semester. We know that what we are learning, the process of our learning and how as a person we have grown, our knowledge has grown. So at the end of the day, when you are, when you are going to sleep, you know that you have learned something and that actually stays with you. The degree is just a showpiece, but the, your learning is main. So that, is, that has been a, uh, at a very brilliant level at least. So we, we can just say that to you. But and MBA, MA, all these things are just uh, made up of, of notions of human mind. At the end of the day, learning is the most important. Correct. Oh, okay. Also, along with learning, if I could add the brand names that come for placements in our or uh, test ODCL is almost, if not like uh, more, but almost equivalent to the top tier one uh, colleges that provide MBA. So rather than better than those top tier colleges MBA this year. So I would say that uh, there is no point saying comparing MA or MBA as such. Okay. Okay. Uh, in addition to this, another question, uh, ideally when it's come to TISS, people target for the HRMLR ODCL course. Ko leke. There are 50 plus courses. So what about other courses? Uh, those courses ko leke kya placements hai and uh, any uh, point of view you people have for other courses like hospitality, ho gaya, rural development, ho gaya, development, development study. Ho gaya. So what about these courses? Yeah, so I would like to say that uh, I, I would not say that uh some some courses are more important than others so in in this uh, there is a feeling of equality among all of us so there are students who have a first preference in uh, other schools also and as far as placement reports of, of those courses are concerned we won't be able to give much insights because we are not involved directly there maybe mm -hmm. odcl only will be able to provide but uh, i do not agree that, that uh, some courses are better than others so everybody is doing their bit and everybody have their choices to pursue the course and uh, take a career for forward of, of their choice so and then, then that's there okay okay fine fine no okay ideally three courses we uh, while filling the application form for tiss we need to target uh, choose three courses so people always always tend to confuse okay which courses they're supposed to choose HRM and ODCL, these are the flagship courses. Uske baad konsa jana hai? Rural development, globalization and all. So, ye confusion hota hai logo ko. So, that's why I have asked this question. But anyways, uh, you have given uh, your answer, Sohif. Great. Uh, okay, last question. What kind of a roles are offered at this ODCL? Matlab, placement ke time pe, what company, what uh, career, what position? Yeah. So basically what uh, the different type of roles that are offered by uh, organizations to us are like the... You want me to uh, share the slide so that you yes, can sir. click on it? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. So I'll do that. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. So this is what the complete placement chart. So yeah. 
Mayuk is speaking now. Yeah, Mayuk. Yeah, so Mayuk. I'll just walk through the whole Prism scenario of the 2020 and 2022. So uh, we at this Odisel like will take immense pleasure to say that our highest package this year of the, for the batch of 2020 and 2022 has been 42.09 lakhs per annum. The average being at twenty five point four zero and the median of twenty four lakhs per annum. So the response from the industry has been overwhelming. Like all the top twenty five percent of our batch uh, got placed at thirty four point three eight lakhs package and fifty percent being twenty nine point one nine. Seventy five percent of the our batch is like around twenty seven point five one lakhs per annum. So the numbers itself are self explanatory and the response from the organizations and the industry has been very good. Like our growth has been phenomenal. Like our first batch, the average CTC uh, was of around seventeen point zero five. Then the next year, like two thousand nineteen and twenty one batch, it increased to eighteen point one seven. And this year, twenty 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 two, it has reached an average of twenty five point zero four. So the data is itself like uh, evident of the progress that this ODCL as a program has made and how much the industry is accepting us and valuing our course. So also the batch size being thirty four and our batch almost out of the thirty four thirty percent of them are pre placement offer holder. So okay. it is also another pre placement pre placement offer. So that means before the whenever the uh, the organization they were doing summers or the field immersion the organizations were so impressed by the quality of work and depth of work that they offered them a job much before the final placement also. Also talking about the different roles that are. Being offered to our uh, students at this hotel is the very lucrative organization change management consultants that we get offered. Like these people, these uh, job roles are responsible for implementing the new uh, like concepts within the organization, helping the whole transformation process, the way the organization operates. Also, then roles like human resource strategist, like these people in these positions when we are placed, that the they actually align the whole HR department with the company's vision. Then also the facilitation of the organization's development, business development growth, etc. Then we talk about the human resource business partner, the HR BP roles that we are given. So developing the HR agenda, then improving relationship between the staffs and employees, structuring compensation and benefits are some of the very good uh, like work that our uh, students have been doing through the past three years. Then the L and D partner being one of the very interesting and upcoming uh, role that we are being offered. So basically, this type of role actually helps in identifying the training objectives of employees and creating or bringing the latest training modules, programs, and to improve the organization goals and needs. Then talking about some of the like our association industry partners, if we see, we have like Accenture Strategy, uh, Accenture, Afcon from the construction industry. Then RT Industries, Pidelite, LTI. Then we had international uh, placement offers from Landmark Group also. So Shell, PwC. We have almost a good big four chunk of the big four coming for placements out here. So and the majority of our recruiters being sixty five percent of the recruiters being in the consulting domain. So it is very evident that uh, our course has getting very much traction and love from the industry. So this is the like. Uh, Proper scenario that we are uh, like having this year, so very good overall response from the market. Great, great. I'll post this in the YouTube community, ah, huh? in our YouTube community. This is the yes, sir. so that they should get uh, inspired by this placement ODCL course. Then, yes. Anyone else want to add anything on this uh, slide? Sohit or Sibasis, you want to add anything in the placement uh, on this placement slide? Otherwise, we'll wrap up the session. I I guess Mayu has uh, covered that. Yes, he has covered it. Also, everything is being covered. Okay, great. Ah, uh, last question, ah, uh, which will be helpful for the student those who are preparing for this net examination. Any tips you people can give to the all the TIS aspirant those who are targeting for ODCL courses, ah, uh, in terms of their preparation, GK, English, Maths, anything if you can guide. जो प्रिपरेशन प्रॉब्लम आपको आई थी विच यू पीपल हैव फेस एंड यू हैव यू नो बाउंस बैक एंड यू हैव डन इट एंड फाइनली यू आर इन टीएसएस सो दे कैन आल्सो यू नो डू द सेम यू आर द बेस्ट इंस्पिरेशन फॉर देम बेसिकली राइट या सो सो देयर इज वन कंसेप्शन जनरल कंसेप्शन दैट जीके इज द गेम चेंजर आई आई स्लाइटली डिसएग्री so in tisnet the level of डिफिकल्टी ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड मैथ्स दैट इज क्वाइट इजियर कंपेयर टू Uh, cat so if someone can target around 55 then there would be less burden on he, him or her to score 
about 25, maybe 20, and they would be able to clear cutoff for, for, the, for the top pro programs. So I, I would suggest students to co concentrate on maths and English as well, and not only study GK blindly and do, do not study relevant data in, in GK. For example, if uh, Louis Hamilton has won Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, that, that is not relevant. But if, if some in Indian woman has uh, achieved any, any good fit in sports, that, that, that is important. So you study the past uh, TISNET papers and try to find out patterns of GK questions. So that, that, that would be one good way to go about uh, preparing for, for GK. And uh, to, to talk about G, GK section specifically, I would uh, suggest to students that there would be two broad categories. One would be your static GK and another would be the current affairs. For static GK, you need to have a good understanding and knowledge of modern Indian history, Indian polity and Indian geography. These are the major three parts from, from where at least you can expect nine to 10 questions. From the, this ancient history, I would not suggest because only one month is left. So no need to study ancient history if one month will come, so let it be. So that won't be a good reward for, for your effort. And as far as the current affairs is concerned, study books in news, study awards. There will be one, there is usually one question from a Nobel Prize and Oscars. So study those, study sports and government schemes. Uh, those those would be uh, important. Yeah, that yeah, would be issue, issue related news, national international issues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, just adding on to what Soi said, uh, for quant, please maintain a formula book and go through it for the last month because we all know that uh, we have to keep the formulas on the at our fingertips. So that's one thing. And just two small tips uh, at the exam center. So just go to your exam center a bit earlier so that you can acclimatize yourself to the situation there. And also please like you, we all know that you can move across the this question paper through the sections. So please uh, attempt the section which first, which you are most confident of. If you are confident in quant, go for it first. Then maybe English, then maybe GK. If you're least confident in GK, don't go for it at start. That can affect, affect your overall uh, sense of the organization or, say, or sense or something, yeah. Also, like what Sohif and Shubhashi said, uh, I would say that practice in this time as much as mocks possible because the Dev sir has been like uh, forcing me to practice mocks. Like sir has given me 34 mocks. So sir divided me mocks into three parts. Like pehle 10 mocks de do, average score bana lo, uske baad fir usko upar improve karo. And then each and every jo bhi mocks attempt kare, uska har question baad mein solve karo. Because the thing that I used to do is like I used to, uh, I was sometimes working and preparing. So I used to get only Saturday and Sunday. So I used to just call Dev sir and ask ki sir, abhi to sir mocks mein score lachha nahi aara hai. Lekin kuch nahi, uh, you just time it and mocks dete raho, to fir it'll automatically improve. So significantly with every mock and asking doubts and all, though I started improving. And as Sibashi said, maintain a like formula notebook and start with the favorite uh, or the most comfortable part you have. So basically what I used to do is whenever I used to start mock, I used to start with the quant section because I felt I was very comfortable in quants and I used to go in GK last because in case I don't know something, my confidence would not go down. So, and also as Sohib said, also follow like all the sections thoroughly, not only just the GK. GK is something of 40% mark, uh, like almost, but then also the remaining 60% marks are like sub divided into English and quant. So I would say key holistically overall practice each and every part. Don't neglect any of them. Great. And finally, Mayuk in this campus now. Okay, great. So once again, Mayuk, Soif and Sivasis, uh, thank you coming and sharing your experience. And uh, definitely this will be much helpful for all the TISNET aspirant who are targeting for this year, TISNET 2022 examination. And uh, lots of information uh, shared by them, ODCL maker. So, if you ODCL post ko target kar rahe ho, do watch this video at least two, three times, rewind karke dekh lena. And the best motivation as of now is nothing but this placement. Placement, dekh lo, best motivation hai, prepare for your exam and definitely you will be tracking uh, TISNET 2022. And uh, uh, to all of you, Mayuk, Soif, and Sibisis, uh, all the best for your great career from my side. Thank you, sir. And okay. also looking forward to seeing many students in TIS ODCL this year. Ah, so, yeah, next year, uh, senior, they will be in second year, you will be in the first year. Okay. 
एंड ये चीज आपको फिर uh, हमारे साथ वापस करनी है मतलब जो वर्क ये आप यहाँ पे आज कर रहे वट द वर्क दे आर डूइंग टूडे यू विल बी डूइंग द सेम वर्क ठीक है चलो या बाय बाय थैंक यू सर बाय नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू या